So we're, in this step, we're going to be drilling holes into the side of the body tube. Since this is using a barometric altimeter, it uses the differences in air pressure to measure the altitude. So these holes in the body tube will allow for more air to be entered and basically create more accurate adjustments for the altimeter. So there are multiple ways of doing this. Uh, one of the easier ways is using a drill. What you want to do is go a little bit below where the nose cone would insert into the top of the body tube and then basically hold it down. And you can or just drill holes. And that should be sufficient. What you want to do is you want to do that four times around. So we can do it again. We can rotate this and do it again. Another alternative is if you are in a pinch, you can also use a pen or pencil. That also works. It won't, as long as there's holes created, basically, to, for air to enter. That in essence should work. So I'm going to just drill a fourth hole. And so that marks the end of drilling holes into the body tube for the altimeter. Now you can take out the sheet with the parachute and use your pair of scissors to start cutting it out. Be fairly careful as you want the shape to be pretty uniform and along the dotted lines. Now you're going to want to use your pair of scissors to cut out the little holes at each end of the parachute. These holes are where your shroud lines are going to go. So do them carefully and make sure there's enough space on the parachute such that there's a hole and not just a cut through the parachute at the end. Now take the little white stickers and start sticking them to align the hole on the sticker with the hole on the parachute. We add these to the parachute so that it's harder for the shroud line to rip the parachute when it ejects, and it's also far easier to tie the knot around this piece of paper than it would be to tie it around just the plastic parachute, since the parachute is very flimsy, but the paper is fairly firm. Grab the thread from the rocket kit. There should be three per parachute, so six in total, but for now just take one and you're going to want to get it untangled. Now put one end through the hole, bring it out and tie a simple overhead knot twice so that it's as strong as possible and don't tighten it too much since that has the risk of tearing the paper along with the plastic but make sure it's strong enough that if you tug on it lightly nothing happens Now take the other end of the string, guide it toward the consecutive hole in the parachute and tie the same knot through there. So again, we just do the same thing for each end of the parachute.
Now that you have three fins and the parachute ready, repeat the same process for the second parachute. Take one parachute and start connecting each shroud line as if forming one single large shroud line. Take this large shroud line and pass it through the loop at the bottom of the nose cone. Loop it back around and tie a tight overhead knot with this and the parachute. We found this technique to be faster than the one in the instruction manual and it works just as good. So tie an overhead knot and then another one to reinforce it and making it stronger. The last thing we want is the parachute and the nose cone coming down as two separate pieces during launch. Now that you've tied your nose cone to the parachute, fold the parachute in half Fold this half and half once more so that it occupies the same area as a quarter of the entire parachute Fold it once more and roll it and then fold it again when it becomes small enough that it would fit in the diameter of the body tube that you just constructed a few steps ago. Now you've tied your parachute to the nose cone and you have the rest of the rocket built. It's time to tie your parachute to the rocket itself. So repeat the process of taking three shroud lines and making them into one and then instead of passing it through the nose cone, pass it through the loop on the shock cord that is connected to your rocket body. We found tying two overhead knots was both simpler and as strong as the method shown in the instructions, so we recommend you do that. Now we can pack this parachute as we did the one with the nose cone. Fold it until it would fit in the rocket body. insert it into the body tube. Now grab the nose cone with the packed parachute attached to it and then insert it right above the other parachute. Make sure it goes all the way in and that there's no shroud line in between the nose cone and the body tube. It should be perfectly flush. And there you have it. That is your career rocket model built and almost ready to fly.